Archive British Steam series of videos is a collection of rare original cine footage of working steam locomotives on British railways in the 1950s and 1960s. The shots cover most areas of Britain and many different types of locomotives and in most cases follow a chronological order rather than any pattern of location or classes of locomotive. We begin Volume 5 in customary fashion at one of Birmingham's mainline stations. This is Stania Black 5, number 44866, with one of the Banbury Ironstone ore trains at Snow Hill. And at New Street, we see Britannia number 70023, Venus, on this passenger service. Hill again and another northbound freight working, this time behind Stania 8F number 48509. Back to New Street and another Britannia. Number 70005 was formerly allocated to Stratford in East London. now and this is former GWR 042 tank number 1444 a design dating back to 1932 8418 was a post-war Hawksworth designed pannier tank with a non superheated boiler and this is one of the heavy 280 tank engines of the 4200 class designed by Churchwood in 1910. Privately owned 262 tank number 4555 has been featured on numerous occasions in this series. Here it is again at Birmingham Snow Hill. move to Manchester's Victoria station as Stania 8F 280 number 48770 enters the station towing an 08 diesel shunter. end of steam on British railways, Stania 8Fs and Black 5s became abundant in the northwest. This is Black 5 number 44888. Eight, eight, eight. 
Another class to see service at this time was the Ivert Class 2s. This one, number 46437, was once shedded at Goole, but by this time had been transferred to Newton Heath. one of many locomotive designs for the LMS provided by Stania in the 1930s. This one was actually built at Eastleigh and 46437 again. general view of Manchester Victoria as it was at this time. Many ATFs were constructed during World War II, this being one such member of the class. It was built by Bayer Peacock. Black 5 number 45372 was built before World War II by Armstrong Whitworth as part of lot number 131. This Black 5 was also an Armstrong Whitworth built locomotive from a previous lot number 124 of 1935. Another 8F. This one, number 48714, was shedded around the Liverpool area for most of its working life. Another Ivert Class 2260. These locomotives were introduced in 1946 and weighed 47 tons. They had driving wheels measuring 5 foot in diameter. Just one Stania Black 5 was experimentally fitted with Stevenson Link valve gear. It was number 44767 and was built at Crewe in 1947. Luckily, this unique locomotive has survived into preservation. And 48714 again. Despite the obstructions, we can clearly see A4 Pacific number 4498 preparing to work a special train. We arrive at Wigan in time to see another ATF on this southbound freight train. and this black five. Wigan station is hardly recognizable today from these shots. Another Black 5 hurries past on its way to its next turn of duty.
and Gretley A4 Pacific number 4498, Sir Nigel Gretley, races through the station with its northbound special train. A few miles north of Wigan on the West Coast Main Line is Preston. Back in the early days before overhead wires, Britannia Class 7 Pacific number 70028 Royal Star is seen prior to taking out an express train. Meanwhile, Stania two-cylinder 264 tank number 42611 arrives at the station. <coughs> and Royal Star departs. This Britannia was shedded at Cardiff Canton before being transferred to the London Midland region. These Preston memories have long since faded into obscurity. Another shot of 42611. A total of 645 variations of this design were built between 1927 and the late 1940s. However, only two two-cylinder versions have been preserved. By contrast, many of these fine BR-built 9Fs have survived and can be found in various parts of Britain in working order to this day. Stania Black 5, number 45107, was one of the batch built by Vulcan Foundry. It's seen here on a Blackpool train. Britannia number 70016, Ariel, was about to take out a fish train. How long is it since this commodity was carried by rail? and another Stania Black 5. The semaphore signals were replaced when modernization reached the northwest. We're still at Preston, and this 8F number 48421 was built at Swindon, which would no doubt have brought a smile to the face of Mr. Stania. Nine two zero one nine heads north through the station with this freight train. She was a former Wellingborough engine. The BR class two two six zeros were based on Ivers class twos and, although heavier, had a low attractive effort. We now move south to Warrington. This Black 5 has just left Arpley Junction and is heading west underneath the West Coast Main Line. This is another scene which has since changed dramatically.
44937 on this soda ash train is on the high level, heading through Bank Key Station. Also northbound on the West Coast Main Line through Warrington Bank Key is 9F number 92208 on this northbound freight working. This standard class 5, number 73137, was one of the class to be fitted with capotti valve gear. And this SLS special train behind Midland Class 2P440, number 40646, is seen at Nuneaton's Abbey Street Station. It was bound for Bedford and Hatfield. Nuneaton Trent Valley Station, we see Jubilee number 45704, Leviathan. She was built in 1936 at Crewe and is seen here coupled to a foul attender. Royal Star again, also at Nuneaton. And now we're back in Birmingham New Street Station. This is Coronation Class Locomotive number 46241 city of Edinburgh with a southbound train. Another southbound coronation this one is on the low level at Tamworth. On the high level we see B1 number 61021 with a Birmingham bound train. We move to Stetchford and see two separate passenger workings from Birmingham to London, both behind Jubilee class locomotives. Further to the south is Coventry. This Stania Black 5 is on an excursion train and is seen from the then new power signal box. Two is also seen at Coventry. She was one of the first members of the class to be built back in 1934. This Royal Scot, also at Coventry, was named the Royal Air Force and was rebuilt in October 1945.
The next few shots were all taken at Grantham in the mid-1950s. The quality is not quite as good as some of our earlier shots, but the contents made it impossible for us to leave out. Firstly, this is A4 number 6007 Sir Nigel Gresley, and a BR class 9F coupled to an 08 shunter. This is a Gresley A3, similar to the Flying Scotsman. This former Great Central A5 462 tank was about to take a train to Nottingham. And this is a Peppercorn A1. Another A3. And another 9F08 combination. This A1 was heading north. And another train from Nottingham. This time behind a J39. Engine changes took place at Grantham at this time. This A3 is bound for the engine shed. And this one takes the train on to the north. An A1 hurries by on another down express. And this southbound train is behind a streamlined Gredley A4 Pacific. Yet another northbound A1. And this was the station pilot. It was a C12-442 engine. A final brief shot of an A1 before we find ourselves back at Snow Hill. This is a 262 tank of the 6100 class. This is a hall. Another former Great Western Railways 262 tank. and a light pannier tank. This hall was on a southbound freight train. Note Snow Hill's unusual signal box. box can also be seen in this shot of a 280-2800 class on another southbound freight working. <laughs> 9 
number 6005, King George II, arrives with this northbound passenger train. These shots also date from the 1950s. Six Double O Five was a regular performer on these trains in the 1950s. And this is Gorton. Engine number six three six hundred was an O four rebuild from 1939 with a shortened boiler. It was shedded at Gorton. On shed that day were tank engines number 67450, Johnson Midland 1F number 41702, and N5 number 69307, and another shot of the C14. Royal Scott number 46166, London Rifle Brigade, was on long sight shed. She was rebuilt in January 1945 and received her BR number in July 1948. Another Royal Scot, number 46 treble one, was named Royal Fusilier and was also one of the class to be rebuilt in LMS days. And this is the Fowler 264 tank engine of 1927 origin. London Rifle Brigade again. and another shot of Royal Fusilier. A 262 tank engine. This Zania 264 tank engine was at Manchester Piccadilly, as was the Patriot. The famous Baddersley Garrett was built by Bayer Peacock in 1937 with the works number 6841. She worked exclusively on coal trains between the West Coast Main Line at Atherston and Baddersley Colliery. Here we see the Garrett crossing the main A5. Note the lack of road traffic when these shots were taken. The Garrett was named William Francis, but only carried the number 6841 on a small builder's plate. She was built for this line because of the severe 1 in 23 gradient, which would have probably defeated a lesser engine. 
Owned by the NCB, she was finally retired from service at the end of 1964. The nameplate of Merchant Navy Pacific number 35018 and another Merchant Navy Class Pacific number 35029 Elliman lines leaving Bournemouth. This locomotive has been sectioned and is now on display at York Museum. freight train is also seen at Bournemouth. Still in the south, but a little further to the west, we visit Salisbury, where we see L1 number 31768 and Merchant Navy Pacific number 35030. A Class T9. Engine number 30718 was a Drummond design from 1899. L1 was a later design of 1926, a development of an earlier Wainwright locomotive. These USA tanks were on the Forley branch near Southampton. They would normally be found at work on Southampton docks. This is Worting Junction, west of Basingstoke. Standard Class 5, number 73117, heads a freight towards the Southampton line. This express overtakes it on the Salisbury line. The BR Standard Class 4 460 is crossing Battledown Viaduct. This A4 number 60024 Kingfisher is seen heading a special train towards Exeter. and again near Honiton. After arriving at Exeter St. David's Station, she reversed light to Central Station. Class D11 number 62670 Marne is seen at Sheffield, Victoria.
also at Sheffield, Victoria, is Britannia number 7006, Robert Burns, on a Harwich boat train. And now we move to Scotland, an enthusiast tour of branch lines with some veteran locomotives in original liveries. Firstly, this is Caledonian 422 number 123 at Crosshouse. Again at air. en route to Kilmarnock. At Kilmarnock, we see her on the turntable by the old steam shed. Engine number 103 was the first ever British 460. Here it is at Inverness. One oh three at Forest. and at Owls. reversing onto the Melbourne branch. Former Great North of Scotland class D40, number 49, is seen at Keith. She became BR number 62277 and was named Gordon Highlander. Here she is at Tariff. and at Wartle. <laughs> Number 49 at Old Meldrum.
Millie was near our prose. The special is now seen behind Ivert Class 2's numbers 46464 and 46463. And again at Elliot Junction. Another change of motive power to cross the Tay Bridge. Up front now is J39 number 64786. Six four seven eight six at Lindors. More fresh locos, 54465 and 56347 are seen at Perth, and 56347 is heading off to Bankfoot. She was a former Caledonian 060 tank engine of 1895. Four four six five was a 1916 Pickersgill 440 and was classified 3P. Here she is at Cooper Angus. and running round the special train at Lays Mill. And finally, at Four Far. The final motive power was provided by North British D34 440, number 256. She became BR number 62469 and was named Glen Douglas. Here she is at Perth. And at Madity. at Crete. Before we leave Scotland, a look at Thornton Junction. This is J38 number 65922. this class J39. J37, number 64595.
and B1 number 61133. Back at Birmingham New Street again, and this is Jubilee number 45670, Howard of Effingham, an engine completed in the early days of 1936. Less common at New Street were these Thompson LNER B1460s. Engine number 61155 was one of 409 Class B1s built from 1942 onwards. It spent most of its working life based at Doncaster. This pannier tank across the city at Snow Hill was a 1933 rebuild of a 1929 collet design. Another B1. This one is at Nottingham. Also seen at Nottingham was this 1944 Thompson rebuilt Class 01. Back at Grantham and Gresley A4 Pacific number 60034 Lord Farringdon arrives with a southbound passenger train. This is a three-cylinder class 02-280 locomotive. Lord Farringdon is now ready to depart. Another ex-LNER Pacific, this is a Peppercorn A1 at High Dyke. And another Class O2. Now move to Crewe, where we see a stranger in the camp. This is another college pannier tank of Great Western origin. A more common sight at Crewe was this Royal Scott class locomotive. Number 46169 was named the Boy Scout. A standard class 2260. This is X Streamlined Coronation Class Pacific, number 46225, Duchess of Gloucester. Another great Western engine at crew. This is a hall. Thank you. 
Royal Scot number 46154, the Hussar, was rebuilt three months after nationalisation took place. and an 060 Ginty of LMS origin. This Coronation Pacific number 46237 was also a former streamlined member of the class. It was one which remained in Brunswick Green. Number 46249, City of Sheffield, was the first member of the class to be built in non-streamlined form. And 46237, City of Bristol, departs with the Up Royal Scott train. One shot at Loughborough on the Midland Main Line of 4472 on a special train. Before we move on to the southern region, this is Merchant Navy Pacific number 35012 at Surbiton. Also at Surbiton is this standard 264 tank engine. A rebuilt West Country class locomotive heading to London Waterloo. and rebuilt Battle of Britain class locomotive number 34071, which formerly carried the name 601 Squadron. Another bullet West Country Pacific, hauling the down Bournemouth Bell. And an unrebuilt member of the class, number 34023 Blackmore Vale. This locomotive was saved for preservation. Clapham Junction, and firstly we see BR Standard Class 4 264 tank number 80140. And one of the smaller 262 tank engines. A Class 4 460. And another Merchant Navy. 
finally this West Country Pacific on an eastbound freight working. Southampton, and this is Merchant Navy Pacific number 35008, Orient Line. Seven five zero seven five. Also at Southampton. For our final three shots, we return to Birmingham Snow Hill. Firstly, this is County of Stafford. A light former Crosty Boiler 9F210. And finally, 1945 Hawksworth designed county number 1008, County of Cardigan. <laughs> 